welcome to Florence vlog number two. So I already have one Florence vlog up. If you missed it, I'm in Florence for like a couple weeks total. So I'm gonna leave my last vlog down below. Also, I have a ton of Florence stuff saved to my Instagram highlight. If you want good food recommendations, like the best bakeries I found, restaurants that I really recommend, definitely check out my Instagram at Taylor Wynn, saved on the Florence highlight, but here we go. Okay, so I tried the tanner. These are the magic drops. These, a lot of you mentioned why the lighting in here is so bad, apologies. Looks really pretty, dried down super fast. Show you in a second. And then this is the sunscreen that I just like totally got on a whim because it was cheap and I was like, eh, I'll use it for the couple weeks that I'm here. It was like 10 bucks or nine bucks and it actually gives you the prettiest glow. I'm like so stoked I discovered this. Super pretty glow. So if you're in Europe and you can find this, I don't know where else they have it. It is so glowy and so beautiful. Okay, this is quite possibly the most interesting angle I've shown on YouTube, but I wanted to show you A, the tanner, and B, the glowy sunscreen. I love this sunscreen. It gives you such a pretty glow. And it's also like pretty dry to the touch. Like, look at the glow. Am I wearing the exact same dress again? <laughs> Yes, yes I am. I'm gonna go attempt to go up the bell tower because my tickets, when you go up the dome, you get like a three day pass and it's the last day. I'm not feeling great right now and it's already 10.25. So I'm hoping it's not like too packed right now, but I'm gonna try to do it because if not today, then I won't do it. So by the way, a couple tips if you're climbing the top of the dome. Okay, you have to go first thing in the morning, do the first time slot they have and also get to the line like 15 minutes early so that you're towards the top because when I got up, there were only like me and five other people so we could get photos, walk around, actually see things. By the time I did the loop around the top of the dome, there were literally 40 people there and you couldn't even like get to the rail. It's a one way up and it's very tight. So if you're claustrophobic, don't do it. You go up and down the same way. So basically you're stuck on the top until everyone has come up and then they only let like 10 people down at a time. So go to the bathroom before for sure. Be in like the first 10 people, seriously. It's like 500 stairs up to the top, so it's a workout. And also if you're doing it in the middle of summer, it's intense. I'm about to basically go do that same thing in the tower, so I should get going. Italy shopping haul. I did do some shopping. Do I have any room? No. So I have my one suitcase. I'm still going to two other cities before I head back to the US and then it'll be a while before I can unload some stuff at my parents' house. There's a will, there's a way, you know what I'm saying? So I did some makeup shopping, mostly got a couple clothes items. I'm really excited to show you guys. I wasn't expecting to find like so many cheap, affordable kind of shops. I was just thinking, I don't know, it's Italy, I thought it was gonna be expensive. I found some super good deals and a bunch of like drugstore makeup here. I'm waiting for a pizza delivery right now. Let's start off with Kiko Milano. So a lot of you guys on Instagram said I have to go to this store. It's like the one of the main drugstore makeup brands I believe in Italy. And we have Kiko, like we have certain products I feel like in the US from Kiko Milano, but I've never tried like a bunch of their stuff and it was all like super affordable, good sales, good prices. There were sales on like everything. Let's start out with what I'm wearing right now. I picked up a tinted SPF because in this heat, I know I've talked about the heat so many times, but when you're walking like miles and miles in 9,200 degree weather without AC, that is a true test my friends. Because like when you're in Texas, you're in the South, like yeah, it's hot, it's humid, but you're going in and out of AC all the time. I have on this right now. It's the Festival Glow Tinted SPF and I had it on all day today. This is SPF 50. 
This is my skin after um, hiking up the bell tower, dripping sweat. I do think it's held up really well. It's very lightweight and it does dry down to a nice finish where it doesn't feel tacky, even though I still have like a bit of a glow. It's not super smoothing, super blurring, but I wanna say I got this for like around 12 euro. Picked up this Sublime Youth Night. It's their um, retinol moisturizer for nighttime because I ran out of my CeraVe moisturizer. I could get CeraVe, but I just wanted to try a new brand. I love the packaging, but unfortunately it's very heavy. So with the traveling, I'm gonna depot this and put this in my other like moisturizer container. It does have a fragrance and it's like a pretty, it's a pretty strong fragrance. I'm starting to enter hanger mode. So uh, bear with me here. They had some really good sales. I got this 70% off this lipstick. It looked like it was gonna be really, Pretty. I thought that would be like a pretty summery kind of color. This I got for five euro because it was from their holiday collection. I swatched this as I was in the checkout and I grabbed it because it looked so pretty. It's a cream highlighter duo. So obviously one is more of like a blush topper, one is a highlight. Feels like satin, feels really smooth. And look at this, there's like no glitter, just sheen. Oh, I got a lip liner because I think this, this looks like it might be a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I think I picked up the wrong thing. It looks actually darker now that I'm looking at it in this lighting, but I'll see. It might be a little too dark. I went into this store and they had a ton of really cheap stuff. I tried on a bunch of stuff, but I only ended up getting two things and it was 10 euro on sale. And I love the sleeves. Fits really cute. I tried it on and then I got this top i like short sleeves i don't love tank tops and i like this kind of neck on me for some reason looks flattering the boat neck so i thought like tucked into jeans or skirt this would be pretty it's just kind of like black silky again lightweight and this was 10 euro also on sale i went into this store i tried on some like beachy cover-up pant kind of things i really want to find like flowy black pants they had a really good deal on underwear and these are kind of like skims kind of dupes these were three for 10 euro and they're just like the seamless, super stretchy. Okay, this is the exciting bag right here. This bag is packed full of goodies. So I went into Wycon. I don't know if this is an Italian brand, I should have asked. Actually, let me first start with these perfumes. This is not from Wycon, these were from, I'm gonna butcher this name, it's a French brand. I think we, we definitely have like, you can shop in the US online, some of their stuff, Vey Rocher. Totally mispronouncing that, but here are the perfumes I got. Do I need more perfume? No. <laughs> I am truly a perfume addict. I have a problem and these are heavy. They're like big heavy glass bottles. So I don't know what I was thinking, but I couldn't resist, okay? This one was on sale for like the same price as the mini size of this perfume. And then she was like, if you get one more, it's 40% off anything. So then I got the tiny size of this guy, which I'm probably gonna keep in my purse. I actually left this store because I was like, I don't need perfume. I left the store and I had sprayed this one on me. This is the like amber vanilla scent. I'd sprayed it on me, walked around for like a couple hours and I could still smell it on me. And then I was reading reviews on it because I wanted to see if it was like long lasting and what people thought of it. And a couple people were saying like, this is one of those perfumes that people will stop you and like compliment you on. That kind of sold me. So then I went back to get this one. Here she is. Yeah, it's good. Tiny bit of musk or like spice in there. When I smelled this, I was like, whoa, this is, this is like a cross between Dolce & Gabbana light blue and Ralph Lauren hot in the blue bottle. If you like either of those perfumes, you will love this. It smells super fresh. I get asked about this every time I talk about perfumes, by the way. Yes, perfume is a trigger. Fragrance is a trigger for some people with their migraines. It never has been for me in all of my life fragrances the one trigger i don't have for migraines so that's why i can get perfumes oh my god i am so excited for this this is lucid dreams it's like a glittery pink lip gloss and i was gonna skip on this until i swatched it on top of a lip liner that i got and i actually haven't put this on my lips yet so we'll see what it looks like but it was like so shiny i have on the lawless right now by the way can't even see myself in the viewfinder right now oh yeah super shiny very pretty i think that was a winner this was i want to say like around five euro ish all their stuff was on sale or already like very affordable to begin with okay this is so cool i have never heard of this it's an spf for your under eyes so it came in two shades i got the light shade it's spf 50 uva and uvb and it's basically just like a little crayon kind of thing that you can apply to your under eyes to help with sun protection 
And I'm curious how concealer is gonna go on over top of this. This is the Micron Tip Waterproof Eyeliner. I used one of their makeup wipes to so get the swatches off my hand. This like was not budging and it, this is the smallest tip I've seen ever for a liquid eyeliner. My eye blending brush is getting kind of like frayed. So I wanted to pick one up. This one looked nice. It's the E13 blending brush by them. This is classy bold. They look like nice and fluffy, but not too long. One lip liner. This is waterproof lip pencil. Both of the girls in there said that this is like really waterproof, like actually stays on your lips. And this is in the shade 128 Wavy Nude. Again, I was trying, oh, that looks similar to the other color. I'm still in my lip phase, okay. And this is just a waterproof black pencil liner, like very creamy. I did tight line today, by the way. And I did get my dad a little gift, but I don't wanna show it in case he or my mom watches this. But I had fun. Also, I'm like really stoked about these perfumes. Why does perfume make me so happy? Mm. Oh my god, so good. Okay, I just went to this sandwich place to try. Oh my god, this place is underrated. It deserves way more reviews. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I already ate like half of the chicken one, but I wanted to try just the, this is the four cheese. You have to go here. So I am actually about to go on another date here in Florence. I haven't gone on one in Florence, but I went on one in Milan. Camera if I mentioned that in the video, but I just wanna show you my outfit before I head out. We're going to this like rooftop bar here that's been on my list that I wanna to go to. So excited to have someone to go <laughs> do it with. This is the shirt I picked up that I showed. I did do another coat of the tanner. I'm liking it. I just can't tell how long lasting it is because this morning I felt like it had pretty much all washed off. So we'll see, but it's like very even and super, natural color but then i just paired it with this skirt which i got in jordan and i just took off the tags because i haven't worn it yet actually let me show it the skirt was 350 jd so that's like about five dollars so my shirt was 10 euro skirt was 350 jd so my whole outfit was basically like 15 bucks just cute because it's tight like i can wear it like this but it also has like a cute high-waisted thing up here and then my amazon purse will link down below i always link my Apple watch band and stuff. This bracelet I actually haven't showed yet, I don't think, but I got this in Jordan. Actually, my parents technically got this for me for my 30th birthday, so thank you, mom and dad. But I'm gonna head out. This guy's actually Australian who's visiting Italy, so. So the glow I have on my chest and arms and legs is from this SPF that I forgot to show in the video. And the perfume I'm wearing is the new one. Unfortunately, you do eventually get tired of pasta and carbs. So I got another little healthy, this is like a late lunch. So I got this like yogurt with fruit, turmeric shot. This avocado toast looks delish with this black bread. Okay, makeup updates on a few of the things I mentioned in this video, not everything, but these are things I feel like I'm like ready to give you my thoughts on. And actually I'm filming this later. So I've been testing these for probably like a week and a half so far. Let me start out with this. I actually really love this concept, the under eye SPF. I feel like this is probably something that's gonna become, you can tell by my nails. <laughs> I'm in Rome right now when I'm filming this clip, okay? But I wanted to put it into this vlog because I talked about these products. But anyways, I feel like this is probably gonna be something that a bunch of US brands come out with in the next like a year. I'm surprised it doesn't already exist, but just like concealer and SPF under eye combo. So this is very light coverage, but I've basically just been wearing like this or my other tinted moisturizer and then put a little bit of this, no concealer, just for like a very natural look. And I like it because it does lighten a little bit with tanner on, but it doesn't have coverage. Like it's definitely something that you could put underneath concealer. It's not like an amazing, incredible formula, but definitely doesn't look bad underneath my eyes. And I love that it is SPF. This is probably my favorite. This gloss I've worn in different videos now, the Lucid Dreams Wicon gloss beautiful like super shimmery pink shade this one's in the shade 03 and this wicon lip pencil wavy nude this is really long lasting a lot of lip pencils will like transfer to my bottom lip like almost to my chin when i'm eating this one doesn't so i've been using that a lot 
with the Lawless Daisy Pink Gloss. Look how much I've used of this. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like down to there. These two together are really pretty. The Kiko SPF. This has been growing on me, but I only like this applied with a sponge, or I feel like it definitely looks the best with a damp sponge. It is more light coverage, but it does oxidize a bit. I like it enough to where I'm like wearing it very frequently right now, but it's definitely not up there with my other like top tinted SPFs. But I've been using this pink shade actually as a blush, not even like a blush topper. It's like a very pretty, let me put in the sun, shimmery pink it almost looks like NARS Orgasm actually when you look at it like in the light, but it looks really pretty as just like a glowy cream blush. And then this one I do like for highlighter. I don't think it's like incredible, but it is pretty. So those are a few updates. Actually, if you want to know what the SPF looks like, I have it on right now, but this is after, how long have I had this on? About seven hours and a few hours in 99 degree heat. So this is after definitely having it on, but I also have the under eye thing on too. All right, so I just filmed a couple different things, filmed a video for YouTube and then some Instagram stuff. If you're visiting, you have to go to Angel Rooftop Bar. It's so cool, the photos don't do justice. I also didn't get a good video because like, as on the date, you know, but really cool spot, really good views. Also really cool place you should check out is called Ebby's. It's in this like fun area too. It's basically like this, old guy who is just the cutest and like a total character looks like the guy from back to the future he is just like so fun and he makes these incredible shots like they are a work of art i got a video of one of them they're all just like really unique and pretty and the line got like really long it was just fun like being out at night we walked around a lot and went down to the water and stuff and it was really pretty so overall fun time that's the thing like it's just kind of fun to go on dates when you're traveling because at the end of the day you're both like just meeting someone and getting to hang out with someone you know especially like he's solo traveling i'm solo traveling so we just had like good stories to share and also people who solo travel are usually pretty chill i found so it's just kind of nice to hang out with someone who's like doing a similar kind of thing but i think i'm gonna end off the florence vlog here because i have a lot of footage i've been editing this video and it's pretty long so i am gonna be in rome so i might do a separate rome vlog or like a shadow and schmooze in rome and chat about it with some footage so i don't know let me know actually down below which one you would rather see but just some final italy thoughts for you I would honestly, if you can, just recommend coming in the fall, like maybe September, October. Having a great time, glad I came, everything. But yeah, if I did it again, I would come in the fall for sure. Second word of advice, wake up early to do all the, the things early. And if you want more specific recommendations of like the exact places I really liked and food I really liked, best gelato, I've been here now in Florence for a couple weeks. So I feel like I've tried like a decent amount of restaurants and gelato places and stuff. So I do have an Instagram highlight for Italy where I talk about different restaurants I really liked and I'm also doing like an overview there. So definitely check that out if you're visiting and you need specific recommendations on places to go. So that's all on Instagram, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.